Despite our fascination with Mars, our own planet conceals secrets yet to be unveiled. From the ocean depths to the Amazon's dense forests and the wilds of Africa, unexplored realms harbor countless new species, microorganisms, and artifacts from unknown civilizations. Join us as we show you the 20 most amazing discoveries made by scientists. Number 20. Pink Dolphin In the murky waters of the Amazon River lives one of nature's most peculiar creatures, the Pink Dolphin. Also known as the Amazon River Dolphin or Boto, this freshwater dweller is found nowhere else on Earth except the Amazon Basin. The Pink Dolphin is the largest species of river dolphin, with adults reaching lengths of 8 feet and weighing up to 185 pounds. They have a unique narrow, elongated snout that can measure up to 5 inches long. This beak-like nose is filled with 24 pairs of sharp, cone-shaped teeth, allowing the dolphin to grasp prey like fish and turtles. One of the most distinguishing features of the Amazon River Dolphin is its coloration. Calves are typically gray when born, resembling common bottlenose dolphins. But as they mature, their skin turns a vivid pink or even bright red color. This is due to blood capillaries located near the surface of their skin. The dolphins use their coloring as camouflage to hunt in the sediment-filled Amazon. When they swim along the muddy river bottom, the pink skin blends in, making them nearly invisible to prey. The pink dolphin is very well adapted to its freshwater environment. Its neck vertebrae are unfused, allowing greater movement of the head when hunting in narrow spaces and dense vegetation. Its tiny eyes have excellent low-light vision. Underwater, it uses echolocation to find prey, emitting high-frequency clicks that bounce off objects and return to its lower jaw. In some parts of the Amazon, pink dolphins play a role in local legends and folklore. According to native tribes like the Boto people, the dolphins take on magical powers like shape-shifting into humans at night. When the dolphins emerge from the water in human form, they are said to seduce young women and impregnate them. Any children born from these encounters will become great fishermen, but be mute around others. Number 19. Geoglyphs Scattered across the Amazon rainforest are hundreds of massive drawings etched into the ground, visible only from high above. Known as geoglyphs, these intriguing earthworks depict intricate geometric shapes up to 1,300 feet wide, excavated into the landscape. Archaeologists estimate they were created anywhere from 500 to 2,000 years ago. But one question has continued to puzzle researchers. Who built the Amazon geoglyphs and what was their purpose? The geoglyphs are found primarily in the Brazilian Amazon, concentrated in the state of Acre along tributaries of the Purus River. Most take the shape of squares, rectangles, and circles, shapes not often found in nature. They were constructed by digging trenches up to 13 feet deep into the rainforest floor. These human-made ditches then filled with dirt, leaving raised walls forming geometric patterns. The geoglyphs were built by ancient indigenous cultures that inhabited the region before European contact. There are believed to be as many as 450 geoglyphs spread across 250 acres of Amazon forest. They were hidden for centuries under thick vegetation until being revealed by deforestation in the 1970s. Even today, some geoglyphs may lie undiscovered beneath the jungle canopy. This new terrifying discovery in the Amazon jungle scared scenatists, as indigenous people who designed the geoglyphs left no written records explaining their purpose. This has led to speculation about the possibility that these intricate formations were created by an advanced species that once inhabited the Amazon. While some archaeologists propose this intriguing theory, others believe these geoglyphs might have served as sites for rituals, prayers, or other sacred rites. Number 18. Valley of the Whales In the middle of Egypt's searingly hot Sahara Desert lies one of the most astonishing fossil sites in the world an ancient whale graveyard called Wadi al-Hitan. Known as the Valley of the Whales, this area contains hundreds of intact skeletons of early whales that inhabited a shallow sea here approximately 40 million years ago. Wadi al-Hitan stretches over 100 square miles in Egypt's western desert near the modern city of Cairo. But when these extinct whales were alive, the entire region was submerged beneath the Tethys Sea. 
The whales swam in a lagoon with mangroves near the coastline. After they died, their massive carcasses sank to the sea floor, where they were buried and fossilized in layers of sediment. Fast forward to modern times, tectonic plate movements eventually thrust the former seabed upward, exposing it as dry land. The shifting sands of the Sahara gradually eroded away the soil, revealing the elaborate skeletons locked inside rocky layers. The valley was discovered by geologists mapping the area in 1902, but its significance wasn't recognized until the 1980s. Scientists have since found over 1,500 whale fossils in Wadi al-Hitan, the largest such concentration in the world. The creatures preserved here are Archaeocetes, an extinct suborder of early whales that represent the transition between land mammals and modern marine whales. Their fossilized skeletons have four legs like a wolf, along with anatomy suited for an aquatic environment. Archaeocete species found in the valley include Basilosaurus, Dorodon, Ankylocetus, and Procetus. The valley has been protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2005, considered one of the most important paleontological locations on the planet. Number 17. Jaguarundi Few people have heard of the Jaguarundi, a wild cat that inhabits the dense rainforests and grasslands of South America. But in 2021, the discovery of an extremely rare albino Jaguarundi kitten in Colombia's Chaco region brought new attention to this little-known feline. The Jaguarundi resembles a cross between a cougar and an otter with an elongated body, short legs, rounded ears, and a long tail. Adults reach up to three feet long and weigh nine pounds. They have short, brownish-gray fur with faint ringed markings on the tail and legs. This coloration makes them masters of camouflage, blending into foliage as they hunt rodents, birds, and reptiles on the forest floor. In October 2021, a farmer living along the Atrato River in northwestern Colombia noticed a strange white animal near his home. Upon capturing it, he realized it was a jaguarundi. Only this one had an extremely rare genetic condition called albinism that resulted in white fur and pink paws, nose, and eyes. Realizing the kitten was special, the farmer brought it to the Risaralda Wildlife Hospital for care. The baby jaguarundi, named Chispa or Spark, was just two months old and needed attention. The hospital provided her with treatment and a diet of specialized kitten formula, eggs, and chicken until she was strong enough to be moved to a wildlife rehabilitation center. Number 16. Megaliths. Deep in the steamy rainforests of Ecuador stand enormous stone structures that hint at a forgotten civilization of giants in the Amazon basin. Known as the Ecuadorian megaliths, these towering granite blocks resemble a stepped pyramid towering up to 80 meters in height. But with no written records left behind, their origins remain shrouded in mystery. The ancient megalithic ruins lie secluded in Morona, Santiago province, a remote region 200 miles southeast of Ecuador's capital city of Quito. Comprised of precisely stacked boulders weighing up to two tons each, the antiquity and complexity of these ruins astonished archaeologists when discovered by explorer Benoit Duverneau in 2012. Based on the weathering and overgrowth of surrounding vegetation, Duverneau estimates the megaliths were constructed at least thousands of years ago. Their location far from modern civilization, in the depths of the Amazon rainforest populated only by indigenous tribes, implies they were built by an unknown group in the ancient past. This has fueled speculation that the Ecuadorian megaliths could be evidence of an advanced but forgotten civilization of giants dwelling in the Amazon jungle long before humans arrived. This theory draws from old folk tales passed down among native South American cultures, describing a bygone race of very tall, intelligent people who built cities in the rainforest. Number 15. The Copper Scroll Treasure of all the Dead Sea Scrolls unearthed in the 1940s and 50s, none has puzzled researchers more than the Copper Scroll. This highly unusual scroll was found by archaeologists among the caverns of Qumran in 1952. But unlike the other scrolls, the Copper Scroll was etched on thin sheets of alloyed copper rather than parchment or papyrus. Even more intriguing, the text on the scroll does not contain literary works or religious writings, 
but instead appears to describe a massive hidden treasure. The Copper Scroll is dated between 50 and 100 AD, several centuries after the generally accepted range for the Dead Sea Scrolls. Though found rolled up like a scroll, researchers believe it was originally a plaque hanging on the wall of a Second Temple period building. The metal surface is inscribed with Hebrew letters, but the dialect suggests the scroll was not written by a member of the Qumran community like the others. Rather than scriptural content, the Copper Scroll contains a list of 64 locations where staggering amounts of silver and gold were buried or concealed underground. It gives maddeningly specific descriptions, such as, in the salt pit that is under the steps, 41 talents of silver. Scholars debate whether this is a genuine deposition list from the Second Temple era or an imaginative work intending to deceive. Attempts to follow the cryptic instructions and find the purported hordes of treasure have proven fruitless. The landmarks and place names mentioned mostly cannot be identified today. This led some to dismiss the Copper Scroll as an ancient fiction. Others believe it could indicate real treasure exists for those able to decipher its clues. The debate continues to divide researchers. Number 14. Strange Footprints Beneath the Ocean in the pitch-black depths of the Pacific Ocean, a robotic submersible discovered something that left scientists baffled. A track of footprints across the seabed unlike anything ever seen before. Spotted at a depth of over 13,000 feet beneath the surface, the eerie footprints measure over 2.5 meters long and are deeply imprinted into the solid sediment. But what creature could have left such an enormous track in the lightless ocean depths? The tracks were first observed on July 2022 by crew members aboard the ocean research vessel Nautilus, sailing between Hawaii and Mexico. A remote-operated video camera vehicle hovering above the seabed revealed a long trail of large, consistent footprints crossing the silty ocean floor for several miles. The Nautilus team had never encountered an animal that could create such gigantic tracks in the deep sea. At over 13,000 feet deep, no sunlight penetrates for photosynthesis. Marine biologists ruled out whales as the track makers since no whales are known to dive anywhere near this deep, and the footprints do not match those made by any known deep-sea invertebrates. The animal would need to be larger than any existing deep-water species to carve such an enormous track. Number 13. Goliath Bird Eater Lurking among the dark burrows and rotting logs of South America's jungles is the world's largest species of spider, the aptly named Goliath bird eater. These massive arachnids can grow over 12 inches long, with fangs long enough to pierce human skin. But despite their menacing appearance, Goliath bird eaters are not dangerous to humans. The Goliath bird eater's scientific name is Therophosa blondi, they earned their common name from 18th century drawings by an artist named Maria Sibylla Marion, depicting them attacking and eating hummingbirds. In reality, spiders do not eat birds. They prefer a diet of large insects, frogs, lizards, and small mammals. An adult bird eater's leg span stretches up to 12 inches, making it the largest spider on earth by mass and size. Their stocky, hairy bodies can weigh over six ounces, approximately the heft of a pet mouse. Bird eaters use their enormous fangs both for hunting and defense, injecting prey with venom that liquefies internal organs. Despite their intimidating proportions, Goliath bird eaters are not an aggressive species when encountered by people. They generally flee or assume a threat posture rather than bite. While bird eater venom can induce pain and muscle spasms in humans, it is not lethal. Number 12. Dart Frogs among the lush greenery of Central and South America's jungles reside some of the most toxic creatures on Earth, the spectacularly colored dart frogs. With skin secreting poison that can paralyze or kill predators, these tiny amphibians have evolved to wear their deadliness as a bright, garish badge of warning. Dart frogs' native habitat spans the humid tropical forests from Mexico to Brazil. Most species measure only one to two inches long, but they compensate for their petite size with highly potent alkaloid poisons that ooze from their skin. The golden dart frog carries enough venom to potentially kill 10 grown men. These frogs likely accumulate their toxins from a diet of alkaloid-rich arthropods like ants and millipedes. Their brilliant color patterns of red, yellow, green, black, or blue 
warn potential predators of the danger. Some indigenous tribes apply dart frog secretions to arrow tips used for hunting, giving rise to their dart frog name. Number 11. Flora of the Amazon Spanning over 2.7 million square miles across nine South American countries lies the vast wilderness of the Amazon rainforest. Under the towering emerald canopy is a botanical wonderland, the most biologically diverse forest on Earth. Scientists estimate the Amazon contains around 40,000 plant species, from exotic orchids and water lilies to resource-rich trees providing medicine, food, and shelter. Over 5,600 species of trees are native to the Amazon. Massive kapok and saba trees soar 130 feet tall, while sprawling fig and banyan roots intertwine along the forest floor. These ancient giants form ecological pillars, sustaining up to 90% of land-based life in the Amazon and generating 20% of Earth's oxygen. But many secrets still lie hidden in Amazonia's understory thickets. Botanists believe only a fraction of rainforest plants have been studied for potential beneficial properties so far. As modern science investigates further, new exotic compounds emerge with antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anesthetic, anti-cancer, and other healing effects. Number 10. Acri Tribe Deep in the untouched Amazon rainforest between Peru and Brazil dwells one of the last isolated indigenous tribes on Earth. Known as the Acri, they violently shun all contact with modern civilization, attacking outsiders who encroach on their territory. Protecting these rainforest hunter-gatherers while studying their way of life poses an ethical challenge. The Acre's remote habitat near Brazil's Envira River was unknown until aerial surveys in the 1990s photographed thatched huts in small clearings. A few encounters occurred when Acre warriors brandished spears at low-flying aircraft. However, direct contact has been avoided to minimize disrupting their traditional lifestyle. Brazil's National Indian Foundation classifies the Acre as an uncontacted tribe and strives to shield them from modern diseases and cultural shock. Their population likely numbers under 100 individuals. The Acre move their camps frequently, fleeing deeper into the dense jungle to evade perceived threats. Their refusal to be integrated is an unprecedented case in modern Brazil. Number 9. Sweden's Witchcraft Island off the misty shore of Sweden lies the tiny isle of Bla Jungfrun, the Blue Maiden, where crumbling stone labyrinths hint at a dark past of magic rituals and witchcraft. Archaeologists recently began excavating the remote island, revealing altars, chapels, and other structures used for ancient occult practices. But many mysteries still surround the full nature of its pagan rites. Bla Jungfrun sits in the Kalmar Strait in the Baltic Sea, just one kilometer wide and 86 meters high above sea level. Its name derives from the blue haze surrounding the granite-hewn landmass. Uninhabited today, it is considered one of Sweden's most magical islands based on 17th century legends of witches gathering here for rituals. Researchers mapping and excavating the island located the remains of a large stone labyrinth, carved cup marks lining seaside cliffs, and the foundations of several circular chapels. These findings point to the sites having been used for pagan worship and ceremony centuries ago. But excavators have yet to find any human remains or objects conclusively used in dark magic gatherings. Local folklore describes the island as a meeting place for witches arriving on Maundy Thursday, flying on broomsticks or goats to commune with the devil himself. While stories likely exaggerated occult practices, archaeologists believe ancient cultures did perform solstice rituals and other ceremonies on Bla Jungfrun between 900 and 1050 AD. The island seems to have held special spiritual importance, but whether for witchcraft or standard Nordic pagan rites is still unclear. Number 8. Thousand-Year-Old Buddha Statue for centuries, a temple in China displayed a shining golden statue of Buddha meditating, believed to be a solid sculpted figure. But when the statue underwent scanning in 1996, it revealed an astonishing secret hidden within, the perfectly preserved mummy of a Buddhist monk who lived over 1,000 years ago. The statue originated from the Buddha temple of Lungshan in northwestern China. Created during the 11th century Liao dynasty, 
The ornate figure of Buddha was coated in gold paint and seated in a meditating position. Scans conducted in the 1990s prior to museum relocation showed the gold exterior actually concealed a sarcophagus containing internal organs, bones, and the fully intact body of a spiritual master turned to a mummy. Even more shocking was the excellent condition of the mummified monk. Likely a high-ranking teacher or abbot, he became self-mummified after ritual suicide around the year 1000 AD. His remains still held organs and tissues, unlike Egyptian mummies stripped of these parts. His head contained a small wad of paper scraps printed with ancient Chinese characters for protection. Self-mummification was a grueling process pursued over the years to gain enlightenment. It involved near starvation, ingesting toxic lacquer saps to preserve tissue, and meditating until death while sealed underground. The preserved body served as an eternal testament to the monk's spiritual devotion and achievement. Number 7. Giant Snakes The steamy jungles of the Amazon are home to the planet's largest snake species, the notorious green anaconda. These serpentine giants can reach astonishing lengths of 30 feet and weigh over 500 pounds, making them apex predators of the rainforest. One Amazon tribe, the Waurani people, even worship anacondas as sacred spirit guardians of the forest. The green anaconda inhabits swamps and slow-moving waterways across northern South America. Their olive skin, patterned with dark oval blotches, provides ideal camouflage amongst jungle vegetation. Using specialized heat-sensing pits, they strike prey such as wild pigs, deer, and capybara with lightning speed. Anacondas are non-venomous constrictors, coiling their muscular bodies around prey and squeezing tighter with each breath until blood flow stops. They can consume prey whole using flexible skull ligaments to swallow animals larger than their own head. Their voracious appetite means these snakes only need to feed once every several weeks. While exaggerated in movies, monster anacondas are an impressive reality. In 2014, an enormous female over 18 feet long was found in Brazil, proof the species can attain almost mythical proportions. Number 6. Walking Trees Deep in the swampy Amazon rainforest grows an unusual palm species that appears to uproot itself and walk through the jungle. Known as Socratea exoriza, or the walking tree, this bizarre plant has specially adapted stilt roots that allow it to continually relocate to optimal conditions. But despite appearances, the walking tree cannot actually ambulate on its own. The striking appearance of Socratea arises from its roots protruding upward from the ground rather than growing downward. These exposed stilt roots can reach over 9 feet tall, elevating the trunk and giving the impression that the plant is walking on extended legs. In reality, the unusual roots provide stability and moisture uptake on soggy forest floors. As the base of the trunk rots away after several years of growth, the palm leans further outward on its angled stilt roots. The tree adapts by growing adventitious roots from the opposite side of the trunk into fresh soil, while the old roots decompose. This creates an illusion of the palm having taken steps forward. Botanists long speculated whether the walking tree could actively reposition its root stilts to migrate towards sunlight gaps or wetter soil, exhibiting a limited form of mobility. Detailed observations have now confirmed that Socratea root growth depends on environmental factors, not an autonomous movement. Nonetheless, the walking tree remains a wizardly sight, seeming to tiptoe through the tangled jungle like an enchanted ent from Tolkien tales. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. This new terrifying discovery in the Amazon jungle scared scenatists. One morning, researchers in the Amazon received a call reporting that a strange creature resembling a whale had washed up on the shore. Upon reaching the site, they were completely shocked. The creature they encountered was whale-sized, but its jaw, mouth, and body had an appearance unlike anything they had ever seen before. Local folklore speaks of a monster lurking in the water, but witnessing a creature from folklore right in front of their eyes was something entirely different. What are your thoughts on this mysterious creature? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Basilisks In the dense rainforests of Central and South America lives an extraordinary lizard, 
with the seeming ability to run on water. The Basilisk Also known as the Jesus Christ Lizard for its feat of sprinting across water on hind legs, the Basilisk can race at speeds over 4 miles per hour thanks to unique adaptations supporting its water-walking talent. Four species of basilisk inhabit the tropical forests from southern Mexico to northwestern Colombia. They average 20 inches long, including the tail, which accounts for two-thirds of their body length. Small flaps of skin along their toes and tail provide extra surface area staying afloat as they dash atop the water's surface. But how does the basilisk achieve this physics-defying maneuver? As they sprint, basilisks slap their feet against the water's surface while contracting their toes to maximize contact. Concave scales and water-repellent fringes on their feet help prevent sinking. Their quick cadence and light frame generate momentum keeping them briefly atop the rippling water. Basilisks activate this ability to evade predators near water, but they can only keep it up for short distances under 150 feet before their energy expires and they must swim. Number 4. Matamata, Mata. One of the most bizarre creatures inhabiting the Amazon swampy backwaters is the Matamata Mata turtle, whose prehistoric appearance resembles a gnarled tree stump come to life. This aptly named species ambushes prey using stealth camouflage and a lightning-fast strike to vacuum unsuspecting fish straight into its cavernous mouth. The Matamata's expansive carapace flares upward and outward like jagged lava rock perfectly disguising it among fallen branches and leaves. Only the Matamata's eyes and snorkel-like snout peek above the surface, on alert for passing fish. When prey approaches within range, the turtle instantly sucks the victim into its wide head like a vacuum cleaner. But the Matamata's most alien feature is the strange, triangular head perched on its lumbering body. Flaps of loose skin and a ragged, saw-toothed crest complete the disguise when lowered into the shell. This nightmarish appearance earns the Matamata the nickname of Horror Terrapin. Yet for all its ferocity, the Matamata is harmless to humans, consuming only fish, crustaceans, and other small aquatic animals. Number 3. Ancient Pork Clock In the ancient world, telling time was not as simple as glancing at a wristwatch. One of the more intriguing early timekeeping devices was the portable solar clock used in the Roman Empire, creatively shaped like a ham, thus earning the descriptive name Pork Clock. Recently recreated using 3D printing, this unconventional ancient sundial demonstrated unexpected complexity in technology during Roman times. Rather than a fixed sundial, the Pork Clock was a portable version that allowed citizens to keep track of hours while traveling. The device consisted of a bronze, ham-shaped base engraved with a grill marking the months, hours, and days. A little gnomon or pointer on the base served as the sundial arm, casting a shadow on the markings as the sun moved across the sky. The full pork clock was hung vertically by a cord, keeping the base horizontal as the sun's rays struck during different seasons. The peculiar shape gave it the nickname Pork Clock though its official name was a distinctively Roman Solarium Porcinem. They were popular among Roman soldiers and merchants needing to tell time accurately on the road. In 2022, researchers 3D printed a working pork clock model to analyze how it functioned. They discovered that using the device required in-depth knowledge of sundial principles and the solar path, more than just telling lunchtime versus supper time. The clock relied on adjusting for variables like latitude, season, and time of year to work properly. Number 2. Voynich Manuscript The Voynich Manuscript is a puzzling book believed to have been written in Italy during the early 1400s. It contains over 240 pages of cryptic writing, accompanied by bizarre illustrations of plants, nude women, and astrological symbols. Though it has been studied by top codebreakers for centuries, no one has succeeded in deciphering the Voynich text. It stands as the most mysterious book in the world. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book dealer who purchased it in 1912 after finding it in a Jesuit college. Radiocarbon dating of its parchment pages indicates it was created between 1404 and 1438 during the Italian Renaissance, but there are no identifiable plants or stars to provide further clues the text is written from left to right in an elegant script, 
suggesting a deliberately unknown language. The Voynich manuscript contains over 170,000 characters written in some type of complex cipher. Statistical analysis reveals it likely contains real meaning and is not gibberish. However, no patterns have yet emerged that would allow decoding it. There are no punctuation marks or indications of abbreviations. The writing flows smoothly, as in a real language, but all attempts to match Voynichese words to known languages have failed. Two theories dominate speculation about the manuscript's meaning. First, it contains real text in an unbroken code. Or second, it is an invented language covering fabricated content, possibly to swindle a medieval royal patron. But other questions remain. Why are some pages missing? And why does it show no corrections or revisions? The manuscript's origin and purpose tantalize researchers today, just as they mystified Wilfred Voynich himself a century ago. Number 1. Disappearance of the Sang Dui. In 1929, a farmer in China's Sichuan province stumbled upon a vast pit containing thousands of ancient jade and bronze artifacts. Little did he know these mysterious objects were the remnants of an advanced civilization lost to history, the Sangxing Dui. But the biggest mystery was not the discovery itself, but how and why the Sangxing Dui completely vanished over 3,000 years ago. The Sangxing Dui inhabited the city of Guanghan, near the central Chinese city of Chengdu during the Bronze Age, around 2800 to 3000 years ago. At their peak, they built an enormous walled city on the banks of the Minjiang River, with advanced irrigation systems to support agriculture. The Sanxing Dui culture was a contemporary rival to the Shang Dynasty, one of China's earliest complex societies. Despite being a sophisticated urban civilization, the Sanxing Dui left no written records, Nearly all knowledge of them comes from excavated objects. Intricately carved jades, enormous bronze statues and masks, elephant tusks, and other artifacts. The artifacts display remarkable artistic techniques never before seen in ancient China, indicating a unique culture separate from traditional dynasties. What happened to these advanced city-dwelling people remains an unsolved puzzle. In the 12th century BC, the Sanxing Dui civilization abruptly disappeared. The city was abandoned, while many artifacts seem to have been intentionally smashed and burned before being buried in pits within city walls. Entire population masses vanished, leaving only broken remnants of their culture behind. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.